Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. It's the news nobody wants to hear, but red tide is creeping back onto our Bay Area beaches. Yeah, now health officials are spreading the word about what you can do to prevent red tide from ruining your fun in the sun. News Channel 8's Olivia Steen joins us now live from North Lido Beach with more on the problem. Hey, Olivia. Good evening. So just so everyone knows, these signs are posted at more than 10 Sarasota County beaches, just warning the public about the presence of red tide. I spoke to several beachgoers today who told me they're shocked to see that it's still here. I definitely came here without, I didn't expect this, yeah. to see the sign and surely there was a sign. <laughs> yeah, I was so. like, darn. <laughs> Pete and Mikey Condolian had to cut their visit short here at North Lido Beach. Earlier, it was actually really fine. There was no, like, like chest anything, but, like, now I'm leaving because my chest is literally tight. I could feel it. Um, I'm starting to cough. When the wind's coming in, you can really start to feel the tide. This is their first time back in the Tampa Bay area since this summer. Mikey says their experience with red tide then was a lot worse. It was really bad in July. In July, it was like you couldn't even be like here and you'd be coughing. The Florida Department of Health says they collected beach water samples on September 27th and found elevated levels of red tide at several different area beaches. Visitors with respiratory issues are encouraged to consider staying away from the beach. Red tide can cause eye, nose and throat irritation. Health officials also advise people not to swim with dead fish. There's no like dead fish or anything out there today, so I guess it's not as as bad. County leaders say staff from Sarasota County Parks, Recreation and Natural Resources will continue to monitor and evaluate each beach daily for the effects of red tide. Now, if you want a full list of the beaches impacted by this uptick in red tide, all you have to do is go to our website, WFLA.com. Live at Lido Beach, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.